Back in 2015, Europe was facing a lot of asylum seekers and about 30,000 of those came to Finland. We have about 200,000 migrants living in Finland. We are a population of about 5 million and we are expecting Finland to receive more and more migration in the future years. The unemployment rate is about two times higher for migrants than it is for native Finns. So the reason why we started with Kotosi was that uh, it takes too long for many migrants to find employment in Finland. We wanted to find another alternative for those who want to find employment faster. The Kotosi program was launched 2016. In essence, it's a payment by result scheme and it's funded by private investors. And that money is used to solve some kind of uh, social challenge or problem. If the results are good, the commissioner, which is a public sector entity, pays by those results. Our role is only to facilitate. We were contracting a service program manager for this program. The program manager then finds uh, the service providers and the service providers are the ones who actually provide the, in the training for the migrants. Then uh, the project manager and the service providers find the workplaces. Our role as a program manager, first of all, we do a financial model, talk to potential investors, and pitch them the idea that uh, we can deliver results and we can deliver financial returns for them. One of the key roles of EIF is to be catalytic on the market. Thanks to our investment through the European Funds for Strategic Investments was to attract private investors. And it's something that we have done. So basically, we have helped them to test social innovation, to test a new mechanism on the market for the benefit of the vulnerable groups. The thought process is rather new and it's not very easy to think how government budgets would fit into these kind of new models and methods. We were first time trying to tender not uh, integration training as such, but what is the impact of integration training and this uh, whole project. Going back in time, I would definitely do the tendering through negotiation process. So I would say it's vital to the project and success to have an intermediate who understand the complexity of impact investment because there are so many things that come into play. There's private money, collecting money from private investors, there's contracting the new project manager, there's uh, measuring impact in a new way so a whole lot of things come into play and having an, uh, an independent uh, intermediate who understands the complexity of it and can bounce back ideas with you is uh, key to success I would say. Every person that wants to come into the program is randomized. 70% are randomized into Kotosip group and 30% are randomized to control group and we measure each group the next three years on two dimensions, tax revenue and also unemployment benefits saved. The commissioner will pay us 50% uh, of that difference. And that is the income of the fund. With that money, we pay back investors the principal and hopefully a good return as well. The immigrants are uh, referred to us by the public employment offices. The training usually lasts for three to four months. We give them uh, mostly language training, but also on-the-job training through work practices or internships, and also short vocational training. So where the magic happens is actually not in the classroom, it's about one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. So we really help the immigrants to uh, see their possibility and help them with the job search. And really, we are there walking together with them along the whole way. We have two groups here, the people who need help with the language and they're studying Finnish. And then we have right now, for example, we have this uh, part-time um, students here who all speak really good Finnish already. And they just need help with, the, with their CV and with the application. And, and the other part that is really important in this program is to follow up after the employment. We make sure that everything goes smoothly and, and many employers are not used to uh, dealing with immigrants or with somebody with a different cultural background, so we help the employers. Minulle ainakin oli suomen kieli ja kulttuuri, ihan eri kulttuuri oli, mutta pikkuhiljaa sain niin kuin, em, oppia kieltä ja myös uh, työelämä 
auttaa tosi paljon. Mä oon faktorissa, siis ravintola Faktori Kampissa. Ja mä oon tarjoilija myös kassalla alaytykseen jälkeen. Se on kiva herätä aamulla ja myös saada palkaa olla ihmisten kanssa. Suomessa on tärkeää olla ihmisten kanssa, kontaktia ihmisten kanssa. We have like 14 different restaurants here in Helsinki and Espoo. And uh, we have about 150 employees right now. In Finland we have quite big problems with the employees right now because the, most of the people is getting high age. From 2017 until this day we have hired about 10 employees from the Live Palvelut. They are high motivated and uh, that's the one reason why we take employees from this service. In Finland the work is so important part of the society and it's a big identity and a lot of people find that it's not the not the money it's the place to go in the morning so when we are looking at results in Kotosip it seems to be proving very effective about 50% of those who have participated have found work which is considerably more than those who are in the control group there are many areas in Finland where there is a shortage of labor Kotosip is particularly effective in those areas at the moment uh, we pay for integration training from the state budget and that's about 50 million per year. And through Kotosib, from 2016, the state has had a total saving about, of about 20 million. If they find employment faster, there's more tax revenue and less unemployment benefits. And if we then have a surplus in the state fund, uh, then we pay back to the investors. And we saved as a government, the investors got their money back and migrants find work, so it's a win-win-win.